So, this is gonna be a short film about Epic Asset Manager, which is a front end for the Unreal Engine Store, written on Rust and GTK4. The app is currently on version 3.02, it was only a couple days back ported to GTK4, and the initial commit was in February 2021, so that's kinda a new GNOME app on the hood. I'm mostly a Unity user myself, but in Rabbitoh Cars Incorporated we work with many experiences created in Unreal Engine, both from our own design department but also from independent studios. Basically Unreal and Autodesk software is like a standard on automotive industry. So I decided to try Unreal Engine just yesterday, and build my own real car today. But in reality nothing's gonna happen, because I will run back to Unity. And I will shortly discuss the reasons in the end movie if you wanna know. One is my experience with Unreal is limited to a few hours, and with the app only a few minutes, and I mostly read the issues and some commits rather actually use the asset store itself. So don't expect of any flawless review. Nothing to worry about, we didn't? And I'm starting with the icon, that makes you think that Unreal is doing this. But it actually mostly does that. Okay, to the app. And most specifically to the options. Oh, and that Alex J, we're supposed to be logged into Unreal for using it. So, a nice thing on options is that it allows us to select the folders we save our projects, or our assets, or the directory the engines are installed. Those kind of preferences aren't always available on GNOME apps, and especially on core GNOME apps. Anyway, the main matter this app addresses is obviously our assets from the Unreal Store, and I may not know how Unreal workflow is, but such thing could have been super useful for Unity users. For example, you see this check mark? It is an indicator that this asset is downloaded. So basically if we get into an item we have previously bought from the store, we can download it locally from this app and easily share it. You can't even imagine how useful they can be for Unity, unless of course you're using Unity. By the way, regarding the interface? Okay, we see there are problems. But developers are trying, and they even mimic some download progress templates from Builder and Files. Now if we could have also a cancel button, everything would be better. There are more things like a search, but there are more bugs too, especially on interface side so I can't demo everything. But perhaps the worst of all is the syncing process, that it very often requires to close and reopen the app. Anywho. On other pages we have our projects, with thumbnails of the editor viewport. And then as our engines, we can launch directly from here. Or we can even add some new ones, although I didn't try with pre-built packages, if those exist anyway. And so, that's pretty much everything. One last thing I should mention is that this app is under active development, so hopefully it will get fixes and it will attract more attention. And meanwhile, since we can't stop this, let's enjoy it on light mode. And now it's the time to tell you why I'll stick to Unity already. First of, the two big advantages of Unreal? 1, the code is open even if not under an open source license, so it definitely gets better support on running in Linux. 2, this engine simply delivers the best cinematics, which is the only thing I want to do with my game engine. On the bad side? It is extremely resources hungry. It takes like almost a minute to actually open a project. Not to mention the shaders rebuilt inside. Then it is the language. Unreal uses C++ and Blueprint, so I will definitely pick the C-sharp of Unity that comes with good documentation and examples. Then Unity community support is like 4 times the size of Unreal, that also translates to the extremely poor Epic Store with the super expensive items. And finally is the VR story. Unity for now has much better support, and it requires less expensive hardware and gear. 